We'll get to Jeff and those stories shortly, but first tonight at 11, just a nightmare for a Gloucester family tonight, jumping in to save their dog from a rabid bobcat who was out for blood. Thanks for joining us. I'm John DeLuca. And I'm Tiffany Murphy. ABC6 News reporter Ryan Madeira has heard from that family tonight. He joins us live in Gloucester with that interview. Ryan. Family members telling me their teenage daughter leapt into action when a rabid bobcat latched onto their pet Labrador, Bailey. The attack on Slavin Path prompting police to issue an urgent reminder to the public. Commotion Wednesday on a quiet family farm in Gloucester. My daughter was screaming and the dogs were yelping. And apparently a, do a bobcat attacked one of my dogs. 17-year-old Kyla springing into action, throwing a chair in the direction of a rabid bobcat. I wasn't even scared in the moment because I didn't think too much of it. So I just thought to throw the chair to scare it away. The quick thinking allowing Kyla to rescue Bailey, one of the family dogs. But the bobcat soon returned. We thought, you know, that was the end of it. I came down, grabbed one of my guns, and I was ready to shoot it, and I couldn't find it. <laughs> I came back around here, and then my wife was on the wall and looks down, it's looking up at her. The family calling the DEM and local police, who came to euthanize the animal, which tested positive for rabies. To me, because it stayed around, that gave uh, uh, me thinking, you know, this thing, something's wrong with this thing. It should have just ran off being spooked, but it didn't, so... Bailey suffered some deep cuts and bite marks, but is expected to be okay thanks to the courage of her family. If we weren't home, she wouldn't have she survived. She wouldn't have made it. No. no. I'm just glad she's okay. The family thanking local police tonight for their help in capturing the bobcat. They also encouraged other families to vaccinate their pets against rabies, saying Bailey is expected to be okay because she got her shot. In Gloucester, I'm Ryan Madeiras, ABC6 News. Oh, 